shall be exalted. Every valley shall be exalted. And every mountain and hill. And every mountain and hill brought low. Brought low. The crooked places shall be made straight. You see that the crooked places shall be made straight. And the rough places smooth. And the rough places smooth. Mm -hmm. Six. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And all flesh shall see it together. All flesh shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Continue. The voice said, uh -huh. "Cry out!" Uh -huh. And he said, "What shall I cry? Uh -huh. All flesh is grass, uh -huh. and all its loveliness is like the flower of the field." You see that? Now, which words? Those words are for if you can maybe be the voice crying in the wilderness. The voice that was the voice of John the Baptist. To announce the coming of Christ. Isaiah saw it. You are getting me? You are getting that? Now, did John come? When John came, spoke those same words. You can't have yet, you get a baby. I mean, I don't, because of time, I don't need to go there. But you know that. In all his introductions, he could say that. I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Prepare the work of the Lord. Make straight path. You remember he said that when the Pharisees had come. Say, who are you? Are you a prophet? Are you this? Are you this? He stood up and said, I am the voice. He quoted Isaiah. Okay? Now, Malachi chapter 3 or 4. Okay, let's go to first 4. Chapter 4 first. So, when we read Malachi, Sule Yokuna. Malachi, chapter 4. Sule Yokuna. Okay. Read for me the entire chapter and you are very fast. So my sura you not go young one. For behold, the day is coming. Okay, before you go there. Let us start from three, then we go to four. Right? Is isn't that better? Okay? Three, verse one. Chapter three, verse one. Marriage is sure you sir for me to soak up. Behold, I sent my messenger, and he prepared the way before me. And the Lord, whom you seek, will suddenly come to his temple. Even the messenger of the covenant, in whom you delight. You, will. See, you see how accurate this man will. Behold, you see that? he is coming, uh -huh. says the Lord of hosts. Uh -huh. Behold, I, okay, give it to me in Uganda so that people can get it. Okay. Lava, lava. Tuma, um, one, yeah. Okay, Adam, no mubaka owe no mubaka we dagalo we musanyukira mm. laba ajja kwayogera mukama wenje damu laba ntuma laba ntuma mubaka wa oyo mubaka yali ani yokan that is oyo malakai malaka those are 450 years before John came a prophet so and it came to pass. That you would first leave Malachi. Isaiah stood 800 years. And he saw you. Those men from the sea. You cannot even see this man is under party. Please, that thing using you. Can you get born again? You have a very big problem. I don't think we have men in the caliber of those prophets. Remember, those prophets, their purpose was to announce the coming of Christ. When you are a prophet today, your purpose is not to announce the coming of Christ. Your purpose is to reveal that he has come. There are very few. I see you getting a car. I see you getting a wife. You get it. But they cannot say, I see you getting Jesus. You know anyone? I don't know anyone. That is a proof 
we don't have prophets. Is it that they are not there? Ah, there is a 70,000 in the caves. But they are not on YouTube and Facebook. They are not among the ranks of your babas. They are not in your babas that you can see a car coming and it comes. Can you see Jesus? Okay. The spirit of prophecy, the true one. How many people that have a lot of prophets in Africa? Okay, all over the world. Weber. Do you know how to tell a true prophet? A true prophet speaks and Christ comes in your life. He does not speak and you get it. That's not a true prophet. It won't be a prophet, Barnabas. You want to disappoint me? When a prophet, a new testament prophet, say, I see the Lord coming in your life. He comes. All testament prophets, they announced that the Lord was coming. Did he come? Did he come? Yeah, ja. He came. Yeah, ja. Now when the New Testament prophet, <inaudible> when the spirit of the of prophecy sits on <inaudible> then when they announce that he came, <inaudible> you can also reveal <inaudible> that, that he has come. Yeah, ja. So do you know any? Do you know any church where people go to get Jesus' prophetic? Or in a church where people go to get Jesus' prophetic? I wasn't there. You know him? <laughs> Do you know any pastor? Oh, yeah. You know, can you help me now? You know, this prophetic church, people don't go to get married, to get people crowd. They want the prophet to say, I see Jesus in your life. Like the way Isaiah said, the voice of one crying in that voice. This prophet stands. I see the Lord in your heart. And the Lord comes. We don't have any. Forget that office, leave it alone. Is it there? Well, yes, we have the 70,000 in the caves. Eh? Lord, they have killed all your prophets. They are the only one remaining. He said they are dream. There are 7,000. So they must be there. But you don't know them, but they are there. But I don't yet have a record of one. It's not fun, I know. You know him? Do you know him? Or you are the one in the cave? You are the one in the cave? You are the one in the cave? Oh, that is so incredible. 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 I know that they must be there. Then there is a group that God is going to rise. That a man stands like this. And he says, I see the Lord in your heart. No, you are going to see. Yes. Yeah. But these ones are merchants. They are traders. They are businessmen. Forget them, please. Don't have headache. Don't have what? The, the assignment of the kingdom of God right now is to preach the word that can bring Jesus to pass in your life. The prophetic has two phases. The first phase, when you preach the word. The second phase was when the word you preach calls Jesus in your life. You have not understood. Who has ever told you that? Pastor Alex Roy. Who are you looking like a lion? <laughs> The prophecy, okay. the prophetic office has to be. We have what we call prophetic teachers. Yeah. The purpose of a prophetic teacher yeah. is speaks a word. When that word enters your life, that word calls Jesus to enter it. Those are the prophets that are going to reveal Jesus. 
Mark my words, you are going to see the reason. I was just revealing to you something small that the Lord told me. I have been telling my man here. Can you address yourself of that prophetic office the other man gave you? He used to see getting pregnant and they get pregnant. <laughs> How can Jesus come in your life when it's not the word that summoned him? For God to come, it doesn't come because a man has gone. God comes because his word has called him. Please, those are not prophetic judges. Let me say that. They are not, pro- they are not Jesus is a prophetic church. A true prophet of God teaches the word and that word is validated. It is scanned. It is screened. It is proved. The word a prophet teaches it is living. How? It calls God. God hears his word. The man of God. God listens that's how Jesus is going to appear. Oh, you are not following. You know Jesus is going to come. That is how he's going to come. You remember what Paul told us about in Ephesians? The five offices? You see that office of a prophet? That one, that one, that one. It's not you. Yet here. No, 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 The men who are there, they say, I see a car, I see money, I see power. You are going to have one million people. That is not the office. You see an office. The prophet's God is going to rise. They will teach the word, and that word will summon Jesus. You will see him like this. Whether you take it, whether you refuse, it will come to Pachija too, Kirida. So, do you know any prof- prophet church that does that? So, those are business units. Come from that from we today, we have point of contact. One on one prophetic service. Ask and I answer you prophetic <laughs> service. <laughs> Ask and I answer you prophetic service. <laughs> I was waiting for I wanted to go to that service. Ah, <laughs> uh, so okay, yes, ask me. Buza. I want to see Jesus. <laughs> when you call when you Tell another Jesus to come. Oh, yes, oh, 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 yes, oh, 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 yes, oh, 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 Come and find out why you lost all your money, Pastor Oliver. And it will be restored. You remember the dark, 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 yellow, yellow corner, what, what? You remember those things? Yes, man of God, you are true. Bam! Get power. That is the service. The man was seen. The man can see. No, he's there. Let me tell you something. Do you know what God God is seeing? When I see a car, when I, and you get it, no, I am blind before God. <laughs> but when I see Jesus, <laughs> my eyes are open. <laughs> we don't have those prophets. <laughs> don't be <laughs> deceived. <laughs> Just cut that thing, send it to them. You will see how they cry. When they go to the exam. Why is it that when you talk about I see a car, why do you talk about Jesus and I see him? You have got it? Why say that? Isaiah saw Elijah. Malachi saw Elijah. Okay? 
But hey. they make a contrast. Ba, 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 ba. Okay? Ba, ba. They don't mention that it is going to be John the Baptist. But they quote the exact words that John is going to say. Okay? You are getting me? Now, let's read John chapter 2, verse 1. John chapter 2, verse 1. Okay? Let's read it. Okay? 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 Four, five, six. Okay. Remember. Remember the law of Moses, uh-huh. my servant, which whom I commanded him, which 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 I commanded him mm. in Horeb for all Israel, with with the statutes and judgments. Sorry. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day, of the Lord. Ah, uh-huh. six. And he will turn the hearts of the fathers to children, and, and the hearts of the children to their fathers. Least, least I come and strike the earth with a curse. Now, Luke, Luke also talks about it. Okay, does he? Give it to us. Please do it. Okay, Luke, Luke. Amen. Now when they have uh, um, I thought you knew it. Yeah? Okay, read for that. Start from 1, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, up to 20. Okay, so then so come. Okay. Carry, carry. Tell the pass. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to him. Now I want you to mark this one. So I want you to tell me how they are they come to materialize as John or Elijah. So listen. Okay, tell me. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to him, hmm? standing on the right hand side of the altar of incense. Okay. Read. And when Zachariah saw him, he? he was troubled, and fear fell upon him. That him. But the angel said to him, hmm? Do not be afraid, Zacharias, oh. for your prayer is heard, uh-huh. and your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, uh-huh. and you shall call his name John. Mm-hmm. 14. And you will have joy and gladness, mm-hmm. and many will rejoice at his birth. Continue. For he will be great in the sight of the Lord, uh-huh. and shall drink neither wine no strong drink. He will. he will also be filled with the Holy Spirit, even, even from his mother's womb. Continue. And he will turn many of the children of Israel to the Lord their God. What is similar about that verse? Isn't that isn't he called is the angel is the, the angel quoting Malachi chapter four? The last verse. First give it to me on camera. So call Rumbo Kume one. Uh-huh. And he will turn the hearts of the fathers to the children. You see that? Uh-huh. And the hearts of the children to their fathers. This, this I come and strike the earth with curse. You see that those words? You see where angels get those words? So go there, go there, go back, go back. Okay? Uh huh. He will. And he will turn many of the children of Israel to the Lord their God. You see that? He just summarizes it, but he gets it from Malachi. Okay, continue. He will also be. He will also go before him in the spirit and the power of Elijah. Mm-hmm. To turn the hearts of the fathers. Now it's like bringing Barakai chapter 4, 5, 6, and it's compressing them. You are getting me? Yes. That's why the angel is quoting. The angel is quoting Prophet Malachi. Not quoting Prophet Malachi. Technically, what Malachi received from an angel. You are really not following. The prophets of old, angel Gabriel will come to them and give them messages about the Messiah. That angel that appeared to Zacharias is the angel that appeared to Malachi. I really get what I'm saying. So he's not actually copying Malachi. He's just re echoing what he told Malachi. Please mark those words there from Gabriel. You have got that? So read for me. He will also go before him mm. in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn, to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children. Yeah, that is Malachi. Mm. Uh-huh. 
and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just and to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. You see that? Now the examination is here. He will also go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah. Now that is John. Let's examine that. The angel says that John will go before the Lord in the spirit and power of Elijah. What does that mean? Most people say that John will have double mantles. He will have the spirit of Elijah and his spirit. Okay? But let me say, let me, let me show you this. Meaning, to understand John, you must understand Elijah first. For you to conclude how John's ministry was. Because I have heard very many people making wrong conclusions about John's ministry. You are going to hear that. Elijah came. What was the characteristic of Elijah's ministry? Yeah. Mm. Elijah moved in the spirit and power. He did a lot of things. We know that. He called down fire. We know that. Did John call fire? No, did John call fire? Well. Right. So when he said spirit and power, follow what you mean. What comes first? Hmm? When the Holy Spirit enters, okay. okay. The, what proves that he has entered in? There is an attribute called power. The Holy Spirit in us gives off power. Power Amen. comes from the spirit. But the spirit doesn't come from power. Do you understand me? When you have power, it comes from the spirit. So there, when you say in the spirit and power of Elijah, in other words, the spirit will produce the power like that of Elijah. Right? Mm. Now, what do we know about Elijah? He called down fire. Uh, he caused rain to fall. Rain to not come for three years. He did a lot of things in life. But he told all those things. Eh? Elijah was walking in the wilderness. Eating the way John could eat in the wilderness. When the spirit fell upon him, John, he behaved like Elijah. He was in the wilderness, taking the locusts, taking the honey and what. Even Elijah was like that. But the power demonstration one. But why did I go there? I have heard very many apostles talking about that verse. That John had the spirit and power of Elijah, but he did not do the miracles Elijah did. How many of you have had those men say that? When a man said, John had the spirit and power of Elijah, but he did not do the power. That he did not do the power of Elijah. You see, John underlooked Jesus, he told this. That's why he was jumped off. Yes, and he said, Did, did, did the John call fire? Elijah called fire. John was supposed to call fire. Elijah performed miracles. John was supposed to perform miracles. He have heard those men. But Elijah performed miracles. He called fire. But John never performed miracles. He never called fire. He have heard those men. Do you want to know that truth or you don't want to know? Uh, what? You want to know? Listen to me when well. Number one. It is over. Did Elijah call fire? Answer yes or no. Yes. Did the John call fire? You can I eat only? Huh? You can I eat only? Huh? No. Good. Why? Right. Is it that it didn't have, it didn't operate fully in the band of life? Did you call fire? You can't eat So does that mean it didn't operate in the band of life? No. 
Elijah Elia. go down fire to burn people. John didn't go down fire to burn people. Because when Elijah called fire to burn people, Jesus says that spirit was not of God. That's why John never called fire. I've never heard an apostle breaking down to that. You don't hear men accusing John that he didn't call fire. You remember that? Now, Elijah called fire. Now, Jesus wants to go through Samaria. Yes, I am going to Samaria. Okay? And they prevent him. Then his disciples say, Can you call the fire of the of the Elijah to burn his people? Jesus will and he said, you don't know what manner of spirit you are. The son of man never came to destroy. So when Elijah called the fire to destroy men, which spirit was upon Elijah? Now when John comes, John comes as an improved Elijah. He doesn't call the fire to burn people. That's number one. Number two. Elijah Elia. called it caused the rain to fall on the earth. Yeah, he eh? mm. When John baptized Jesus, <inaudible> what failed? Holy Spirit. Who is improved there? What I'm telling you, a man cannot tell. They call the John we need to operate like Elijah. Yet when Jesus comes, eh? yes, a man to men born of women. There is a man greater than John the Baptist. But the apostles who preach that, you know, he did, he did, he did. They don't know the message of the process. I said, only way. Elijah called fire. John calls what? He doesn't call fire. Why? The spirit that calls fire to burn people is not from God. According to Jesus, Elijah calls rain to fall. After a desert. On Levi Jordan, eh? John baptizes Jesus. Heaven opens and the spirit rains. Who is greater than you? Elijah. 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 Who? Elijah. Who? Elijah. Elijah points to men about himself. John reveals Jesus. Who is greater? Go and search all websites of the world. If you hear an exposition like this one, I will buy it. Similar. I will even buy you data to search that. All the stories you will hear. Elijah. John had the spirit and power of Elijah. But John did miss that power. He did not fight. Don't hear those stories about But they miss big time. Eh? John revealed Jesus. He said, Behold the Lamb of God. Elijah couldn't do that. We are really not following. We are really not following. When Elijah went to heaven, he threw his mantle on Elijah. Isn't it? When Elijah was going to heaven, he threw his mantle to him. Elijah. Okay? You are getting me? Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? The death of John resulted in two words. John said, I must decrease. We must decrease. The death of John brought an increase of price. Those who have clapped hands there, but you can listen to how prophets and apostles talk about John. Without it being spirit and power, the spirit and power of Elijah was to reveal Jesus. But he was praying far to bad people. Telling God how he's the only prophet remaining. The 7,000 was born. Was John the Baptist? Yeah, you can't know about it. 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 You have not understood. You pull out your chair and you dance until 
bring the clothes of the water. Because if you are your girlfriend, you say, where is your girlfriend? Your girlfriend, where is your If you don't understand anointing, because they say he had a double man. When you talk about man, what are you talking about? Anointing, They don't have a deeper understanding. And there are many who know what I know. There are very many, but they are not on YouTube and Facebook. Like you, prophet, sir. Like you, Archbishop. Like you, the little man you go up also, bro. Like, like the Epistle of Paul, they are not on YouTube. 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 They are not Don't you be 
people in the world, we don't need about two months to say, eh? <laughs> what do you mean, I think? They don't know. They don't know John. They don't know John. They don't know John. They don't know John. That John is a very complete No human being is greater than John. The wife of Jesus. According to Jesus. So can you bring it like that? Can you bring Moses? You don't bring those people here. John revealed Jesus. Walking like this. If he had taken him five thousand years, when people are waiting for the Messiah, Elijah could not show us. Moses could not. Moses shook the world, but he had no power to show us Jesus. When John came, he said, "I have not heard. I have not heard. Indeed, he revealed him. No man has ever done it. Oh, you bring that to you. So you bring that to you. Yeah, so you know, you May God give you understand. Come and walk together. Leave the gospel alone. Especially if God has not anointed you. Because anointing opens up big things. There have been hidden to princes and kings. That's what anointing does. What men trap upon God? Purifies and shows it to men as pure. John baptized with the water. Okay? Jesus baptized with the spirit. How can you get Jesus? And you baptized into water again. It was only John to use water. Only John. Only John. Why? He was 7,000 in one. You said better than me, man. John had the double man. John had 7,000 people. He was heavy. John, you can't have your job. What's up? I'm there. 